Okay, so introduce yourselves to our watchers and readers. I'm Blake. I'm Joey. <laughs> we are Devour of the Day. We were Devour of the Day. Now we are Shall the Day Be Devoured. Yeah. Why the name change? Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I'm, actually, I'm Joey. Damn. Joey. Joey. Yeah. We ca I caught that. I want to do this again. Take two. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joey. Hey, I'm Blake. The power of the day. And you're watching Infomercial. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you guys were formerly a Venus Central. Yeah. Who knows? Um, when... Yeah. <laughs> with the collapse of them, what what made you start your own band? Well, I mean, it was exactly that, a collapse. So, out of the rubble, I think we felt like it's either quit playing music make a new band and we didn't want to quit playing music or learn how to manufacture whittle, shoes or whittle, whittle small chess pieces that was a big dream of Joey's yeah yeah mm -hmm. one day mm -hmm. one day still got time it's fine um, what's your favorite song off of your new record time respect respect, respect. respect. comes out next week I'm excited about it hit radio it's gonna be sweet it's our most fun to play live is there any meaning behind the song? Uh, it's about the collapse of the band. So I like getting out there exactly what happened and how we feel about it. Okay. You've got a couple of religious undertones in a few of your songs. Do you consider yourselves a Christian band? Absolutely not. Yeah. But, spiritually conscious, okay. uh, willing to question, for sure. Okay. And what do you think that, that adds to your... Your music. Uh, I think that that's something that's in every single human being, and it's just human nature. Yeah. And we wanted to connect to people as much as we can. How did you guys come up with the name Devour the Day? Uh, actually, my father sent it to us, and we felt like it was it wasn't a title; it was more of a challenge for every single day. And uh, I made us feel like we need to like work hard, or it's kind of Crappy concert reminder. It's like, oh, your name's the of the day. If you don't actually get up at a decent hour and do something good with your life, then you're just living a lie. So it's, you know, we used to just sit around and play Xbox all day. But we were like, what's the name of the band of the day? Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> we immediately started doing push ups. <laughs> Wouldn't Three. be the same if they were Devour the Night, I guess. Yeah, yeah Devour the Night. Has a whole different connotation to it. Right. It does. <laughs> What do you guys miss the most about home while you're on tour? Oh, my kids. Kids. I don't miss my kids because I don't have, I, but I do have a dog. I miss, I, can I say shit? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I miss the fuck out of my dog. <laughs> can I say shit? <laughs> can I say shit? I'm gonna say fuck. <laughs> oh, I get okay. Do you miss his kids? I do miss his kids. His kids and I have a special relationship. And yeah, they meet up on him, climb him. <laughs> Climb on I'm a jungle gym. I'm like, you yeah, jungle, jungle play. Jungle play. Okay. Work out while you play. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's a bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Simba. It's Benjamin. It's fine. <laughs> Bringing Disney into it. Now I gotta know, what's your favorite Disney movie? Uh, it's a toss up. Aladdin, yeah. Lion King, Mulan. 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 I yes. fucking love that movie. Okay. Can't help it. I was gonna say, probably. Aladdin, but Toy Stories, all three of them are good. I haven't seen the third one yet. The third one is the best one. The epic finale. Oh, it's not like every other series good. ever. They bring it all back around. Frozen, Frozen. Quality movie. Let it go, let it go. My daughter has a moves and everything. Very nice. In that, qu in that case, do you want to build a snowman? Of course. Of course. <laughs> good luck in Florida. Yeah, I, I, every <laughs> lyric. I know every lyric of that album. What's your favorite city to play in and why? Besides home. Besides home? home? Denver. Great laws. Yeah. Good legal system in Denver. No, what or lack thereof. That is, that is a good spot. Yeah. Do you have a favorite venue there? Uh, the Fillmore was really cool. Smoked a joint on stage. What's up? Tell the cops to <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was a like, cool time. Okay. Did you guys have any specific way you wanted the cover to look for your album, or did you have any ideas that you gave the artist? Is there a reason? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. yeah. We we really wanted to create the idea of a man in 
same struggle. Very much the way Goodman presented us, because we were in that. Um, and we wanted to find a unique artist uh, that was, you know, for us alone. And so we found this guy, he's in Uzbekistan, Russia, uh, and talked via email. And we weren't expecting such good art, but yeah, it was, we, we had this idea and we saw a picture that kind of represented what we were talking about. And when we went to him with the idea, he came back and showed us this amazing piece of art that was like way beyond what we were expecting. I mean, it was hand drawn and everything. And it was, it, was, it, was, uh, it was relieving because we were like, we have awesome artwork. You didn't have to done. send it back or anything, right. no yeah, edits no, or nothing. It was, it was it good was, to go. Love at first sight. That's awesome. Alright, do you guys tour with just two members? Do you get session musicians, touring musicians? Um, How musicians. Do you do oh. Yeah, two session guys that come out that are awesome. Uh, Ronnie Ferris and David Hoffman, excellent, excellent players, and uh, have become just great friends of ours. So it, it's a, we really have a lot of fun on stage. It's really fun. How did you meet them and get in contact with them? Um, we stalked them uh, through different bands and uh, through Craigslist. We had plans for them since we met. Note to self, take uh, We built them in a petri head. dish. <laughs> <laughs> we we pictured them ourselves like yes. sea monkeys. They're holograms. <laughs> So you guys played the Machine Shop for your first show as of Hour of the Day. What yeah. was it like to play such a venue like that for your first show? Uh, nerve wracking. Yeah. Like, because uh, we hadn't done a show yet. And, I mean, it was kind of like... <laughs> oh. What are we, we're picking up the ceiling. That's cop radio? In <laughs> okay. I thought yes. I was getting transmissions <laughs> inside my brain. You're going crazy. That's actually what's going Um, The first show, Machine Shop. It was nerve-wracking, and it was, it was, there was a lot of pressure. We had a lot of pressure on ourselves to be able to, you know, because we were, this is the first band is supposed to be a step ahead in a new direction. It's supposed to be better, and uh, actually we just got up there and played air guitar and air drums. <laughs> we just had a CD play. <laughs> so you think the pressure made you step your game up, or do you always just think yeah. We're just fumbling through it. And we hope we end up on fake the top end. Guessing. Well, no, we're not faking. I mean, we're really important. Cool. No, seriously, we really mean it. We, we have no great plan except to just have a good time and keep writing good music for our, for us and our fans. Okay. Do you have a, any guilty pleasure artists right now? Or? It's on. There's a soundtrack to this uh, interview, actually. It's more like a bright. Yeah, yeah, but is that a guilty pleasure? Uh, We're talking about yeah, locking yourself play, in your bedroom, play, play no one game knows game. it. Miley I listen to Katy Perry. Yeah. It's a guilty pleasure. Okay. Bruno Mars. Bruno. I can't help it. Um, <laughs> uh, what are your thoughts on Sade? Already monkey. Sade. Sade. Um, three Six Mafia. <laughs> waka Flocka. Okay. That's about it. I mean, we really listen to everything, so we're feeling guilty most of the time. Okay. I feel guilty when I listen to things like rights. <laughs> like, I'm stealing this. And he gets all confused and I show him his own idea. And it's like, wait. Wait a minute. It's so familiar. I love it. But I am not smart enough to put it together. Oh, yeah. I like that. I do. It sounds familiar, but it's familiar. Yeah. Any last words to your fans? Anything you want to say to them? Um, 415 Rockville State today. I don't feel guilty for what I've done. And to those I've harmed, I'm sorry. But I'll die in peace. peace. Alright, and I got one more for you. With the name like Devour the Day, what would you consider your like best comfort food that you could completely devour? Box eggs. 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 Sunny side up or scrambled? Uh, over easy. Over oh. easy. Nice. A little bit, a little bit of toast underneath. Sprinkled with Sounds good right now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you guys very much.